to Strictly Business, which is sponsored by the Bellingham Business Association, the BBA, a nonprofit organization that supports local business and gives back to the community. I'm Marjorie Turner Holman. I'll be your host today. I'm a longtime Bellingham resident, personal historian, freelance writer, and a board member of the BBA. As a personal historian, I help you turn your family tales into written stories in book form that you can be proud to share with your family and friends. I also produce the Bellingham Menden Veterans Oral History Project, which collects stories from local veterans about their military experiences. We tape interviews right here at the Cable 8 Studios, then forward the stories on to the Library of Congress. Thanks to Cable 8 and many others who are supporting this project. Today's guest is Julie St. Pierre. No, Julie is not here, so sorry. Mark Dibus, excuse me, from Middlesex Savings Bank. And before we get started, I wanted to provide a brief recap of recent BBA events. This past month was the BBA holiday party held at Lowell's Restaurant in Menden, Massachusetts. Members, BBA members were encouraged to bring an unwrapped toy and all the gifts that were collected, and there were a lot of them, were donated to the Bellingham Women of Today's yearly Santa's Elves program. Mark, thank you so much for being with me today on this segment of Strictly Business. Thank you. Thank you very much for having us, or for having me. It's, uh, it's <laughs> unfortunate that Julie couldn't make it. She got right. caught with some business. But uh, uh, thank you very much for inviting uh, the bank and myself here. So. Really glad to have you. Uh, why don't we get started by telling us a little bit about your background, how you got started in banking, and what you love about it. Sure. Uh, I've been in uh, basically the financial services industry, banking and, and finance, for about 20 years. Um, didn't really start out that way. I was a political science major back in, in college uh, and um, uh, have held various positions at various financial institutions over the years. And uh, now I find myself at, at Middlesex Savings Bank and uh, uh, just a terrific place to work. Um, it's, uh, you know, we are a 178-year-old uh, mutual institution. That's amazing. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's terrific. The, I think one of the things about the bank that uh, a lot of people don't know is, uh, you know, we are 178 year old, years old, and as I mentioned, we are a mutual institution, which means we're owned by our share. Our um, we don't have shareholders. We're owned by our depositors, oh, okay. uh, and therefore we can't can't be taken over. We can't be acquired. Mm -hmm. so, so all of the turnover that we read about in the news and stuff is not your bank's experience. Sure, no, that's not, not at all. Um, you know, we're, we're, we've been here for 178 years and uh, the plan is to, to continue to be here as Middlesex Savings Bank. Mm -hmm. And what do you enjoy about, about your work? Boy, uh, so I'm a business development officer and uh, my job is to, to call on existing customers, existing business customers, small and mid-sized businesses here in the region, uh, including Bellingham. And, uh, you know, I, I, in that role, I'm constantly meeting new people. Uh, and that's, that is genuinely the, uh, the best thing about my job, mm -hmm. um, meeting a, a really diverse group of people uh, with d diverse backgrounds, but uh, all, you know, one common interest in making their business succeed. Right. Right. And you're, you're right um, working out of the Bellingham Yep. Office. Yep, that's right. Uh, we're uh, the address. The street address is 267 uh, Hartford Avenue, which is right across the street from the Belling uh, from the uh, Market Basket right. uh, supermarket. Okay. Uh, so if people walked in, that's where they that's where they could find you or call and ask. That's right. Great. That's right. Yep. Okay. Um, well, you said you were a political science major. Can, um, can I ask, what, <laughs> how do you get from political science to finance? And that's, a, that's a very good question. Uh, <laughs> so uh, the answer is really I, I don't know. Um, I, uh, I went, uh, I worked in Boston for uh, another bank uh, for about five years, Boston Safe Deposit and Trust Company. And uh, while I was there, I, I, I got the niche or the uh, itch, I should say, to uh, to get my MBA. So I earned my MBA at oh, Babson, okay. 
uh, and, um, and then went to work uh, for another bank uh, in Boston. Uh, and um, uh, so the, the, the politics was, uh, was, was strictly by the wayside at that point and long, mm -hmm. long forgotten. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so okay. But you also have an MBA. I do. That's okay. correct. Yeah, in, in finance. That's right, okay. from Babson. All right. So that's uh, how... That's how you get into finance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, well, that gives me an answer to how you got started. In, um, and what have you learned, whether it was in your MBA pr program, from whether it was your different experiences, being in different banks, what have you learned that helps you? You know, it's really that, uh, especially in my role now, is that every situation is different. Uh, every business is unique. And even if you have, let's say, two pizza shops on opposite corners of, of the same street, um, both owners' needs, I think, would be, would be different. And I think their goals might be different. You know, sure, they want their businesses to succeed. Mm -hmm. But I bet if you talk to them about what, what the things, which things are important to them, uh, what their, uh, in my particular role, what their finance needs are, what their banking needs are, what their business needs are, uh, what's the most efficient way to run their business and, and manage their cash flow. Um, Every situation is, is different, and um, I, I think that's probably one of the most important things that you need to, 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 to know to be successful in this business is that, you know, there's no cookie-cutter solution to, to a problem, um, and that every, you know, like I said, every situation is different, um, and uh, you, we have to approach it that, that way. It sounds like not, no one day is the same. No, it's really not. It's really not not at all. Uh, yesterday, actually, in the in the snowstorm, uh, was uh, was a was a great day. I had a, a chance to to call on uh, a couple of customers, existing customers, and and prospects, and uh, for the most part, they all appreciated the fact that I was trudging through the snow to to, well, to go yeah. see them, and and uh, you know that was that was nice. So. Uh, I'm guessing it might have been a little slower for them because not everybody was out in the snow either. Uh, that's, that's, uh, that's right, yeah. All yeah. right, but you were. But I was, that's right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. All right, and you're here to tell the tale. And, and live to tell the tale, <laughs> live through uh, the storm, that's right, yeah. Very yeah. good. Not all that bad. All right, well now that leads us into um, some sort of specific types of services when you mm -hmm. go in and approach your say an existing customer mm -hmm. what what what's a typical conversation like that going to be sure we we try to find out uh, what the you know learn about the customer's business what's what it's been like in the past what they foresee it to be in the future um, you know how the cash flow has been what types of services they use um, services like ser services such as uh, what we call merchant services, so the ability to take credit cards, mm. the ability mm -hmm. to, to provide gift cards, whether they have any cash management services. Um, uh, Are those all things that you can help them with? Sure, absolutely. Uh, you know, Middlesex Savings Bank is, you know, like I said, it's, uh, you know, we've been around for 178 years and, you know, we're a $4 billion community bank. And you know, we have, you know, 29 branches from basically from, from Groton in the north to, to Bellingham uh, and Franklin in the All south. Right. So really, uh, you know, in between that 128, 495 uh, corridor, uh, you know, we have branches in, in just about every town from, you know, like I said, from Groton to, to Bellingham. Um, and, uh, you know, even though we are a community bank, you know, we can, we, we provide the services of, of the big banks uh, with a, a community feel and, and a more customer focused feel, I think, than, mm -hmm. than a lot of other banks. Can, can you be more, I, I'm just, I'm not familiar with, if I were a business and, and you were coming in and, and asking me about the cat, you know, the credit cards and all, mm -hmm. what services, how do you work with that? How, what can you offer them? So uh, we basically try to assess the customer's needs, um, and it, it really depends what the reason they're coming to us. Uh, if it's a brand new customer uh, coming mm -hmm. in and saying, you know, I'd like to establish a relationship with, with Middlesex, mm -hmm. um, we can do 
all of the, the, the normal type things, if you will, uh, open, a open a business checking account for them. Uh, we provide term loans for equipment purchases. We provide uh, loans for commercial real estate mortgages. So if there was an owner-occupied uh, shop, for example, if, if, the, if the owner of the shop also owned the building, we can mm -hmm. provide a commercial real estate mortgage. Uh, lines of credit for uh, for working capital for for customers uh, to uh, to help with seasonal cash flow oh, needs, so that you um, can cover payroll so even when there when things right are for other slow. seasonal okay. things. You know, the perfect example is a builder who has to purchase lumber, um, you know, to build a house, and mm -hmm. you know, with the expectation that that house will be sold, and so you know, we can cover those those seasonal cash flow mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, issues. Um, uh, we would also, um, you know, ask what the customer wants to do, what kind of services they currently offer. And I, I mentioned the the, the uh, merchant services, the ability mm -hmm. to accept a credit card. We've partnered with another company oh, okay. uh, to uh, to provide credit card processing, mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know that's obviously in this day and age a very important part of of most people's businesses, the sure. ability to accept credit cards. Uh, the same company also offers the ability to provide gift cards, uh, which mm -hmm. also, especially at this time of year, is a great right. great thing to be able to <laughs> offer to customers. You know, if you don't know what you want to get, and uh, Santa can always bring a, a gift card. So, right. um, so those are the types of things. I think one of the more exciting products that we've uh, we have now is the ability to uh, uh, a product that we call e deposit, and that's the ability to deposit checks uh, from anywhere with your smartphone or other device. Okay. Uh, and uh, you know, business customers are are capable of doing that now, and uh, as are our retail customers. So you just take a picture and you take a you, picture of the check. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, you download an application from uh, you know our our application, mm -hmm. uh, Middlesex Savings Bank application. It's specific. It's uh, it's a, a secure and encrypted uh, um, application, and basically you just take your phone and you take a uh, your check, you endorse it on the back and you take a picture of it and it gets deposited to your account. So, no kidding. Yeah. So it's a it's a it's a great I innovation. I am in the stone and, ages with yeah. that, but I, I I'll take your word for it. Yeah, it's a, it's uh we we rolled it out uh, a while ago and we've we've had uh, uh great uh, uh customer reaction to it mm -hmm. so far. So it's been been oh. very good for us. Okay. Yeah, people are much less willing to actually have to try to walk into a bank and they just want your services. Yeah, yeah. I think that's, you know, that's uh, when the customers do come into the bank, I think that's another thing that uh, that really, you know, sets Middlesex Savings Bank apart from, from a lot of other institutions is, uh, you know, I hear time and time again, uh, you know, boy, I love going to your branch. You know, all of the tellers know my name. The branch manager comes out and says mm -hmm. hello to me. Uh, I hear that time and time again, and it's not just the Bellingham branch; it's uh, you know the other branches in the in the region. And, mm -hmm. um, it's really really does say say quite a bit for the for the bank and, and our personnel. Mm -hmm. uh, they are top notch. Mm. It sounds like you enjoy your job. I do. I do very much so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looks like it. Well, now that we've talked about some of the positive things, um, not necessarily negative, but what are some of the challenges? Of your work, yeah, you know we're um, we're constantly trying to improve our product offerings and our and our customer service, um, and uh, you know as I said, we offer all of the products that a, that big banks offer. Um, I think some of the challenges are, uh, you know, because, and I, and I think this is a, a challenge for all community banks that uh, I think there may be a perception out there and the, uh, among the public that hey, you know, they don't offer the same services or things uh, or other products that the big banks offer but uh, the fact is that uh, that Middlesex Savings Bank and, and and a lot of the other community banks as well offer uh, as good if not better products than uh, than some of the larger banks mm -hmm. so. so the challenge is a part of its education um, but uh, you know I, I see people who've banked with with the bank for you know, 30 years, and I see pe people who have banked with them banked with us for for 30 days. And uh, uh, I think if you ask a customer of of Middlesex, they'll say, "Boy, I absolutely love love my branch. And I love my I love my bank." Hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um, well, um, 
maybe can you could you describe a typical day? Sure. For me? Sure. Uh, as a business development officer, as I mentioned, I'm constantly trying to uh, find new customers and, and call on existing customers. And um, the customers, the existing customers that I call on, it's really just a, a check in, see how they're doing, thank, thanking them for their business, um, and seeing if, you know, frankly, if there's anything that they've thought of after the fact that, uh, you know, any services that they may have thought of after, the, after they opened the account that they, may want or mm -hmm. uh, have questions about. So uh, I'm a resource uh, in, in that sense. Um, clearly the, the branch managers and assistant branch managers and tellers are also a resource for, mm -hmm. for those customers as well. Um, you know, they're all very, very well versed in our, uh, both our retail and our business product offerings. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, uh, you know, they can feel free to, to, to call me or to, to, to go to any of the branches and ask questions. Um, but you know, a typical <clears throat> excuse me, a typical day is uh, you know making phone calls and writing letters and um, you know trying to find you know really you know knocking on doors and trying to find uh, new customers for the mm -hmm. bank. Well, you were talking about the the diversity, um, um, you know, besides walking down the street and finding people. What? How do you how do you locate? What are the tools that you have? A lot of it comes directly from the branches. Um, you know, those are the people who live and work in the communities, you know, where those branches are. Uh, and, you know, sometimes they'll, they'll call me up and say, hey, there's a new business in town, or oh, okay. you know, this business just moved uh, from another location, or they're opening a separate location, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, it might be a good idea to, to, to maybe talk to them. So you're uh, looking for opportunities for change that when when there's change in the community and sure that's that's certainly one of the one of the tools that mm -hmm. that, that I would use yep okay um, but a lot you know frankly some of it is uh, you know I can sit out and, and look out my window on on Route 126 it's a very busy intersection mm -hmm. and I see trucks going by with with their names on them and uh, oh, no you kidding. Know, so uh, you never it, know it, it, could, it <laughs> could it could be really come from anywhere so uh, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. okay um, can I ask you how you feel how you have handled cold calling because that is that a fair question to ask because sure. I know it's part yeah. of your work yeah yeah um, uh, I, I certainly don't have a problem with it um, I'd say that 90 to 95 percent of the people uh, are, are very receptive and are willing to take a couple of minutes at least just to, to talk to you and, and uh, uh, I find that when you ask people about their businesses that's when they really open up. They love to talk about their business and rightfully so. Mm -hmm. uh, you know it's their, it's their baby, it's what they've put their, their uh, you know a lot of times their blood, sweat and tears into and uh, you know they enjoy talking about the uh, not only the successes, but the challenges that they'll be facing over the you know over the coming months and years. So, mm -hmm. uh, and how they'll how they'll deal with them. So, right. uh, you know that's a that's uh, uh, that's one of the great parts about the job is you know listening to uh, to success stories and frankly you know how some businesses have struggled and overcome those uh, struggles and you know that's oh, that's yeah. great great to see. Yeah. Well, that's what I yeah that's what yeah. I get to do here too. <laughs> it's, it's really fun. Yeah. Yeah. That's really fun. Um, something surprising that you've encountered in your in your job here in Bellingham. Yeah, you know, uh, it, it's um, it's not so much of a, a surprise, but I think it's not very well known uh, what a uh, diverse group of, of companies there are in Bellingham alone. Um, just just coming here to the studio today, there are some. You know, I recognize the names of a lot of the companies on, oh. on the street here today, mm -hmm. and there are some really, really innovative manufacturing facilities. Uh, and um, you know, they're not on the public street. You know, on the on the more public streets, mm -hmm. so uh, a lot of people don't see them. So, um, I think uh, <clears throat> you know, the, just the the diversity of the businesses uh, here in Bellingham, I think, is is. Um, uh, as I said, not really a surprise, but it's uh, it's not very well known. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's some, as I mentioned, there's some great companies here in Bellingham. Yeah, we don't. I don't think of Bellingham as a manufacturing. Right. I think town. a lot. I think a lot of people don't. You know, they see what's on you know 126 and and 140, uh, and and that's their perception of Bellingham. But uh, 
you know, tucked back here and, and in other spots in Bellingham. There's some, like I said, there's some great uh, uh, specialty metals manufacturers and, uh, you know, other manufacturers here in town. Hmm. Yeah. No, that is a different, a different view. Yeah, yeah. So, um, anything, anything else that, that you would want to talk about? I know you, you brought some, some notes. Did we touch on any of those things that you were, you had thought yeah, about? Yeah, we've touched on uh, just about everything. I, I, uh, one of the things that I wanted to talk about uh, that we provide at Middlesex uh, Savings Bank is, uh, and we've been doing it for about six years, are, are these business success seminars. And we invite our existing customer base to these mm. seminars. And we hold, uh, I guess, three or so a year. And the topics can range from, you know, business succession planning to mm -hmm. uh, how to best use social media uh, to, to I've leverage. I've been to them. Y y great. That's yeah. And oh, they're really I, good. I, I tell you, the feedback from our customers is, is terrific. Um, it's not only a chance for our customers to, to learn something uh, about the specific topic that we have, mm -hmm. um, but uh, also to network with different businesses right. in the region. I think right. that's the thing that uh, you know the customers really like. Well, it's uh, it's nice because it gets you out. It gets you talking to some people that you haven't ever met before. They're all fellow business people. Right. A lot of entre entrepreneurs. And um, you know, from my own experience, it's all people who have families. So they right. all, you know, everybody has families. So you want to get out and, and right. talk. And yes, then it's very easy to get them talking about themselves. Yeah. And that's, you know, it's a great opportunity. And they're free, as 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 I recall. They're they are. That that's a that's a good point. Thanks for mentioning that. Uh, they are free, uh, and we have one coming up. Uh, actually on January 28th at the Doubletree in Milford. Uh, it's from 7.30 to 9.30. Um, that's another great thing about it. They're very informative and it's a, you know, a compact time schedule we try to get. Yeah, they're in the know, morning, uh, obviously typically, people first are, thing you know, in the morning. Right, right. Uh, yeah. You know, people are business owners. They need to get to their, mm -hmm. you know, we don't, don't want to take them away from their businesses, you know, more than they, they need to be. But uh, right. Do you know uh, what the topic is? The topic is uh, how to best use LinkedIn. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, LinkedIn to leverage your your business development and marketing efforts, mm -hmm. uh, and we have some great speakers, um, uh, including uh, Chris Russo of Russo Insurance in Medway, um, mm -hmm. and we'll ha we'll have a panel oh, of, uh, of, uh, of 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 guests, uh, I guess, uh, uh, fielding questions and discussing you know how best to utilize LinkedIn. So and people can sign up for that by by they can go to the web to our website. Uh, under business success seminars, um, and uh, it's uh, middlesexbank.com, mm -hmm. and under uh, I think the tab is uh, a, um, a small business, uh, and then you'll find the business success seminars uh, menu item there. So. so you don't you don't have to be an existing Middlesex customer to attend these seminars. Uh, they're prim primarily um, uh, promoted to our to our business customers, but certainly it's free for anyone to attend. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So. They're good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I've gotten some really good things out of that. Yeah. Um, any, anything else that we haven't covered? No, uh, you know, I, I uh, you know, I want to reiterate that, uh, you know, as I mentioned, we're, you know, 29 branches and 178 years old. And, um, you know, I think the, the community focus, we, you know, we are a community-based, uh, locally managed bank. Um, you know the people who work in the branches live in the towns that they that mm -hmm. you know that, that that they work in. They're involved in the community. Um, you know from youth sports organizations to Lions clubs. Uh, you name it. There's a there's a uh, one of our employees is on you know one of those boards or volunteers. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, that's another thing, uh, you know, I, I worked in Boston for, for 20 years and uh, I really wanted to, to work for a company that, you know, not only encouraged uh, community involvement but also supported it and uh, you, you just can't beat, uh, uh, you know, Middlesex Bank and community banks in general mm -hmm. uh, for, for supporting that. I mean, they, there's no question about their commitment to the community. Wow. Okay, well, um, again, let, let our viewers know the best way they could contact you if they have any further questions or would like to have a conversation sure. with you. Sure. Uh, it's, uh, my name is Mark Debus, and uh, I'm at 
1-800-500-5938. And I sit in the Bellingham branch of Middlesex Savings Bank on that's Route 126. That's where your office is. Yep, that's where my office is. Yep. And um, if, I'm, if I'm not there, I'm out and about uh, <laughs> talking to customers, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, certainly feel free to call me and I'll, I'll give you a call right back. Excellent. So, yeah. Okay, now with the time remaining, I want to remind our viewers that the next meeting of the BBA will be on January 15th and the topic will be business planning. So in closing, I'd like to thank Mark very, very much for being my guest today. And please check in for the next edition of Strictly Business coming in February. <laughs>